Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2022. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to convert an audio file to keyframes and make an object or a layer react to an audio file. So first, create a new composition. I'm just gonna click on the new composition button. We'll make a vertical video so you can use it for YouTube Shorts, Instagram, or TikTok. For the width, 1080. For the height, I'm gonna put in 1920. I'll keep the frame rate at 30. For the duration, I'm just gonna type in 40 comma, so 40 seconds, or whatever your audio file is. We'll click OK. Next, I'm gonna drag out this photo to use as a background. In this case, I'm gonna fit it to the comp height. I'm gonna drag out a logo. Then I'm just gonna drag an audio file onto the layers panel. And now it's time to convert the audio to keyframes. Go to your layers panel and select the audio layer. Then right click or control click, go to keyframe assistant, then click on convert audio to keyframes. You'll see here that After Effects automatically created this layer here called Audio Amplitude. And if you go up to the effect controls, you'll see these sliders for each of the channels. If I tap on U to bring up all the keyframes, and now when I zoom in, you will see that there are keyframes converted for each of the channels of audio. Now we don't need the individual left and right channels since they're both on the both channels. So I'm just gonna select each one, click the delete key, and now for the fun part. First, make sure that the audio amplitude is open and that you can visually see the both channels and slider control. Next, go to the layer that you want to animate or react to audio. In my case, it's gonna be this logo layer. Twirl it open, twirl open the transform properties, press the option key if you're on a Mac, alt if you're on Windows, and choose which property you want to animate. I'm gonna select the scale property because I want it to zoom in and out to the audio. So I have my option key press. I'm gonna click on the stopwatch. Instead of typing out an expression, we're gonna to go to the expression pick whip. Just click and drag it right onto the both channel slider. I'm gonna click off. My logo disappeared, but if I hit the space bar, the logo is now reacting to audio. And to fix the sizing issue, all you have to do is just click inside the expression Make sure your cursor is before where it says temp temp and just type out value plus, all lowercase, so V-A-L-U-E, the plus symbol. I'm gonna click off and now the logo is at the size that I want it. I'm gonna drag the playhead back. The scaling issue is fixed and now the logo is reacting to the audio, perfect. And you can repeat this process if you want multiple transform properties to react to the audio. So I also want the rotation to be reacting. So I'm gonna press the option key on a Mac, Alt on Windows and click on the stopwatch. I'll click on the expression pick whip and then drag it to that same both channel slider under the audio amplitude layer. I'm gonna let go, I'll click on. Now when I press the space bar, I've got scale and rotation. And for the finishing touches, I'm just gonna scale down the logo a little bit so it doesn't animate off the edges. Then I'll add a rough and edges effect to give it a little bit of a grungy look there. Maybe I'll change the blend mode to something like lighten so it blends through the background. I'll tap the space bar to preview and that is how to make layers react to audio in Adobe After Effects CC 2022. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.